The five D's that help you in the last days. Number one, do not be deceived. This is the first advice from Jesus to all Christians in the world today. Look, some people are constantly spreading incorrect doctrines about Christianity and about Jesus. They are betraying themselves to be what they are not. They are making people believe that they are this or that. They have deceived many people. And the truth is that they are still deceiving many people. Jesus said you should never be deceived by them. Matthew chapter 24 verse 2 of the King James Version says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let anyone deceive you. If you allow them to deceive you, if you allow yourself to be tossed around by the winds of false doctrines, if you allow yourself to be deceived by people claiming they can do what they cannot do, you will not experience the peace of Christ. Many people have gone away from the body of Christ because they allowed themselves to be deceived. Many are now in the synagogue of the devil because they believed what someone told them and not what God told them. And this is exactly what the Bible said would happen. Look at this verse that speaks about the last days. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter days some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Don't be surprised when you see people following strange doctrines. The Bible told us this would happen. Many shall depart from the faith. This is why you see churches that openly encourage adultery and fornication. Churches that openly encourage sexual immorality. Churches that openly discredit the Bible. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. The Bible told us this would happen. People will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. As a child of God, you need to protect yourself. Because the thing about deception is that most of the time, a person who is being deceived does not even know they are being deceived. They think they are doing the right thing. They genuinely believe they are doing the right thing. Jesus warned us about deception multiple times. Matthew chapter 24 verse 5 says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. What Jesus is telling us in the last days is that people will make grandiose claims of who they are and what they can do. People will make grandiose claims and promises. People will even claim to be Jesus himself. People will claim if you give this amount of money, you will be healed. People will fall for it. The number one way you can protect yourself from deception is for you to get to know your Bible for yourself. That way, when anyone moves away from what this Bible says, you can pick up on it. You can identify it. Don't be rooted in a church, because the truth is there are churches that started well, but over time as they grew, they watered down the gospel. Don't be rooted in a person, because people change. Be rooted in the Word of God, the unchanging Word of God. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. If there is a disagreement between God's word and the word of the messenger, it isn't hard to figure out who is wrong. The messenger is wrong. The word judges the messenger. The messenger doesn't judge the word. Here's a plot twist for you. You may think it's only people who can deceive you. Did you know that you can deceive yourself too? That is a plot twist, isn't it? You need to know you can deceive yourself. If you're not telling yourself the truth, if you're not making yourself see your mistakes or accepting that you have done wrong, I am telling you, you are deceiving yourself. Don't deceive yourself and think you can live any way you want and there will be no repercussions. Just because it appears as if you've been getting away with ignoring God's laws, don't think there won't be repercussions. Don't deceive yourself. It is what you sow, you will reap. It is a natural law. So know the word of God and do the word of God. And that is how you can protect yourself from deception. Number two, don't be discouraged. Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. You must have heard of wars, earthquakes, diseases. This is what the Bible calls the beginning of sorrows. Jesus made it clear that all of these will be part of the last days, the perilous times. You need to focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. The truth is that all of these will make life hard. They will make you want to give up. You're constantly seeing wars. You're constantly hearing about people dying and you don't know what to do. You feel like you are not safe. You feel like you cannot take these evils in the world anymore. Jesus said you should not be discouraged because of this. He said you should not be troubled. If you want the peace of Christ, then you should not focus on these political and natural disturbances, but focus on Christ. God told Joshua the same thing. There was war in the time of Joshua. He just became the leader in Israel, and it is normal for that young, innocent man to be anxious, but God told him not to be discouraged. Jesus is telling you the same thing right now, that you should never be discouraged by anything. 
No matter what happens in this world, no matter what the government does in the country you live in, don't be discouraged. Don't live in fear. Remember that God is still on his throne. Let Jesus order your steps in these last days. Number three, do not be defeated. Matthew chapter 24, verses 12 through 13 of the King James Version says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You cannot allow yourself to be defeated in these last days. You cannot allow false prophets to lure you. You cannot allow sin to overcome you. You need to stay strong in this age. You need to grow strong and become strong in the Lord. The reason why many Christians are not focused or remain in Christ is that they don't know what God has for them after this life. They don't think about the blessings that have been stored in heaven for them. This world is temporary. This world will fade and it will never remain. You cannot live forever in this world. You are not immortal in this flesh. Don't allow the lust of the flesh to overcome you. Don't allow sin to overcome you. Don't allow the devil to overcome you. You have the strength of God in you. You need to remain strong in the Lord. Revelation chapter 3 verse 21 says, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my Father in his throne. You need to overcome all the challenges. You need to overcome all the problems. You need to overcome all the temptations. Number four, do not be doubtful. Matthew chapter 24 verses 34 through 35 of the King James Version says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things are fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. There is something that pleases God more, and that is called faith. When you have faith in God, it means you also have faith in his words. That means you believe in God, but if you allow doubt in you, you will destroy the faith you have in God. And God will not be pleased with you because it means you don't believe in him. God is saying that he will make things new for you. Do you believe that word or are you doubting it? Jesus said he will go and prepare a place for you in heaven. Do you believe or are you doubting these words? This world will fade. Everything in it will be gone. But the word of the Lord is something that can never go unfulfilled. All these things that we have been told about the last days are not just fictions or ordinary guesswork. They are things that will happen. And if they don't happen, the word of Christ will remain and will never fade until it happens. The word of God will remain. That is what you should hold on to. That is what you should base everything about your life on. The word of God is great, perfect, and accurate. Don't be doubtful, brothers and sisters. We need to remind ourselves that God does not operate on your timetable. We need to humble ourselves. God does not operate on our human scale. The events on God's prophetic calendar will take place when the appointed time comes. And number five, do not be distracted. Distraction is one thing that can make you miss out on the peace that Jesus will give. Many things can distract us in this world. There are things the devil is bringing every day to make us go away from Christ. Not that these things are not working, because people have gone away from Christ already. But we must make sure we focus on one thing, and that is Christ. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 42 of the King James Version that, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. The most important word here is watch. Stay focused. Don't be distracted by anything. Focus on the race set before you. We are meant to stay alert and remind ourselves our Lord Jesus will return at any time. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 of the King James Version says, Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us.